making this intro literally the day you guys are watching this because my other one got deleted this is a story time about how i got scammed and robbed by a fake pr firm sorry about my appearance i just got home i'm about to do my hair so don't come for me in the comments i know this is probably the longest video on my channel but i promise it's worth the watch and if you're new please subscribe to my channel because i really want to hit 1k before the end of the year and please follow my instagram because i'm trying to hit 1k on there too so like what are you waiting for okay without further ado let's get into this video let's just start on saturday september 21st at 4 51 p.m i got an email from a gmail account by the name of madison t sloan at gmail.com it was like a pre-made jpg picture of a letter i'll put the letter right here on the screen basically a public relations firm reached out to me and they're looking for influencers to take on as clients as her first clients or whatnot obviously with me getting this email i was very like excited like you know i was like oh this sounds legit but of course i still like then and there at that point i still was like i oh, know this is probably a scam with being on social media people email me with like stuff like this all the time then not even like 20 minutes later i forward it to my mom so me and my mom are talking about we both saying like oh it possibly could be a scam but like look into it you know an hour later at 6 30 ish i email her back and i say hey girl thank you so much for being interested in my brand and i was wondering if you could send over your resume and just proof of your business because i'm interested in moving forward later that day she responds to my email and says sure here you go attaches my resume and LLC article certification. So now with this resume, the next business day, which was like Monday, I believe, I reached out to all the people on her resume, like all of her past employees or whatever, employers, I reached out to all of them and verified that she worked there. And supposedly she did. It wasn't just me that did this, multiple people that got the same email did this. So, you know, we all verified that she did work at these places. So just keep that in mind. So I respond, I say, Thank you. Okay, so what I'm a little lost on is what networking connections do you have as stated in your email. I'm totally here for this and working with you, but I just want to make sure everything was entirely clear before you move forward. Because she put her Instagram in the little thing, right? So when I Google, not when I Google, when I Instagram search her Instagram, she had like 19 followers. So I was just like, you know, like, that's kind of sketchy. But, you know, if she's a beginning PR firm, I just, you know, totally understood. So then she responds to me, of course, if you want to schedule a phone call for tomorrow, I can answer questions you've had. So we schedule a phone call. So I'm going to fast forward. Next day, we have a conference call. This conference call was like an hour, 30 minutes long. Basically, in the call, she was just explaining what she wanted to do for me. And I was explaining, like, what I wanted the outcome to be. Then, after the conference call, she sends me three attachments. One was her business license. One was the packages for her business. And one was her resume again. So, with the, when I saw the business license, I'm like, bro, like, this literally has to be real so monday september 23rd comes around and mind you over the past two days before this me and my mom were talking about it we were just talking about like all the things that can go wrong at this point we've been texting and then also keep in mind that we would talk on the phone literally almost every day so september 23rd she sends me the invoice and the contract now it was a scam like in my head if it was a scam it wouldn't be you know so like professionally done and rolled out like there wouldn't be a business license involved it she wouldn't have sent me the contract with like the, the company she sent me with she wouldn't have sent me an invoice it would have just been like paypal type thing but no like she just had all this <laughs> thought of oh i need to stretch keep in mind you guys this all happened in the span of like 13 days so i get it i show my mom and like that night my mom was like okay well just like think about it sleep on it whatever whatever the contract was literally like a page long and she sent me all that stuff on september 23rd and my mom told me to think about it for a couple of days but obviously with me being like super excited i was like nah like i i know this is legit i verify everything like you know i'm talking to other girls next day which was september 24th i was like let me just go ahead and sign it so on tuesday september 24th at 10 a.m sharp she texts me like good morning naya are you ready to finalize your representation with mts i'm like yeah and even though i had verified some other things before i was also calling like all her old employers or whatever there's one pr firm on there and it was like a big like one of the biggest pr firms right so i had called them and they said at first they said they didn't know who that was they couldn't find her in the system but then she gave me a different last name which she claimed to be her maiden last name it worked so 
some confusion you you feel me at 4 24 p.m i completed the thing like i completed the contract and i sent her the money and the total of the little package i paid for was 214 dollars so then he emails me this and it's like attach is your official welcome letter i'll put the little fake welcome letter on here too on the welcome letter it said like send me brands you like to work with whatever i put this on here only because if you're part of one of those brands or you work with one of those brands or for one of those brands just you know reach out to your girl because i think i'm a perfect candidate so then let's just keep it moving talked on the phone that rest of the day and then she's like oh i'll forward my team your links and i want you to have pr boxes by the end of the week and all this stuff mind you guys this whole time she's supposedly in paris for paris fashion week Everything will literally make sense to you at the end. Like she sends emails like, I haven't slept in 24 hours, it's 6 a.m. So I apologize for any typos, blah, blah, blah. She sends us an email, like a group email saying like, you put my email as your email in your Instagram bio. So like it literally does, didn't raise any type of suspicion because we're like, oh, she's a PR firm. It's going to make her job easier. I didn't do it personally because I, I just feel like, if a brand is reaching out to me, they're reaching out to me, and, you know, I can, like, run it by you. Now that I'm thinking about it, she probably asked for people to do that so that she can hack into their account. Because, you know, with the email, you can change the password on your Instagram account. Ooh, that's sick. That's sick. Ooh. Like, just over the day, she'll send, like, these really, like good emails no cap like literally the next day after i signed with her she sends me a message like your fenty pr list is coming I'm waiting for them to email me back and there's a new hair brand that wants to work with you like everything was so like it was so what is the word like i was blind i didn't see any red flags at all <laughs> so if anything she did she like actually made me more kind of inspired to do better and like pour more effort into my instagram and youtube so i'm not gonna like diss her like all the way and on september 26 she tells me that um she got me boo at 300 dollars a post an ig post or whatever my birthday was september 27th right mind you guys the day before this so on september 26th we had a phone call and she was telling me like oh my gosh your birthday is tomorrow like it was just so like ugh. like when i think about it it's really weird because you guys know <laughs> I don't want to tell you guys. Like, you guys don't understand why this was so weird now looking back on it. Like, this is just so weird. Oh my gosh, I have, like, pages in my planner of, like, writing of things that I need to do. All this, like, I just can't believe that somebody would do something like this. Now, we will proceed to September 27th, my birthday. She emails, like, she sends out a group email and says, If you haven't yet, go to Instagram and check out the surprise that I have you guys. I have for you guys with Marriott. Marriott, yes, the hotel. Like this whole long email she sent us of like all the details of the trip and how we have the RSVP and that Marriott's gonna send us confirmation emails and like all of this. We want to go ahead and pause and read it if you like. But we all RSVP and we send her our plus ones and whatnot. So this is all on September 28th. She sends us a group email called the Expansion Challenge. And this challenge is to basically bring more people into the firm this is obviously very 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 smart of her with this being a scam she's obviously you know like she's treating us so well so that we can vouch for her she just was scamming us to scam other people how money hungry can you be like i didn't know it was this deep for these two weeks she actually sent us update now something suspicious that i saw was she would send it to one person and then she would blind carbon copy me or like whoever anyways you guys can also read this email if you like it's too long i'm not gonna read it and it's a waste of my time now october 1st she sends us this email basically it was just going over our marriott deal all this wasted time. Later that day, we had a phone call again. I vividly remember everything in this phone call now that, you know, I realized that the information is, was important now. In this phone call, she tells me that her wife was abusing her mentally, physically. Mind you, she's still in Paris. They're getting a divorce and all this other stuff. So keep in mind that when we're on the phone she says that her wife's name was juliana which i vividly remember right so then she posts on her instagram really wish i would have screenshotted this you guys okay like because this all will make sense story 
a email from like some random person but she scratched out the name but the name says Lachey hey keep that name in mind from that situation she was telling me that she's so down and all this stuff with like the PR list being the PR packages being sent out I was wondering how would I get paid for these services you know so I asked her and she goes so they're gonna give you direct deposit when a company sends you a PR package they usually pay you with PayPal or a check in order to do a direct deposit you would need somebody's bank account and routing number which means she was probably gonna ask me if this if this kept going she was probably gonna ask me for my bank account and routing number and then I would have you know I would have figured out it was a scam sooner or later but like luckily I caught on now because like I don't ever send people that now keep in mind as you guys can see in the screenshot on Thursday I asked her, can we FaceTime right now? She goes, I mean in meeting, but as soon as I get out. So then, October 2nd, so now we're just going to rewind a little bit, only because it makes sense. She sends me this PR list from Fenty Beauty. Now, first of all, I don't know why I thought this was real. Like, it literally looks like she made it in Pixar. The last name is spelled wrong. So, also, like, just to add in there, tell me why we were on the phone and we were talking about this. And she was like, oh, yeah, like, I fast-tracked all your packages, so they should be to you, like, Friday, which was yesterday, Saturday, which was today, or on Monday. Like, okay, girl. <laughs> so now we're going to stray away on the timeline. We are on Thursday, which is just, just this past Thursday, October I believe third I get put in an Instagram group chat so I'm wondering what is this group chat about first message in the group chat let me just scroll I'm literally scrolling we have so many messages you guys don't understand literally this group chat was just exposing the fact that this Madison Sloan person was a cafe I'm gonna read you guys some things out the group chat I'm gonna insert screenshots of it too you literally if you're watching this right now at this point you're literally going to be like what the first message in the group chat literally says, I know that I asked a lot of you if Madison is legit and you say you believe it. And I'm not trying to say I don't believe you guys, but I dead do not want to sign to a scam and pay money to a scam. Because at this point, I was getting a lot of messages from like other like Instagrammers and YouTubers and they were like reaching out to me like, hey, like I see that you're signed with MTS because mind y'all, the mts the mts pr page like just posted all of us the girl who said that she like had dm me previously before too and i i vouch for the company i'm gonna just tell you guys the juicy information that we gathered as a team okay see that but guys i think it's legit her and i talk all the time and i just got a pr list from fenty this was earlier thursday like this was thursday around like two o'clock one o'clock this was the part where my my jaw literally dropped <laughs> If you're watching this right now, you're about to be so sick. It says, and she's still using pictures that aren't hers. So I say, what do you mean? Still lost. She says, no, ma'am. I said, wait, how do you know? She sends me this account. This is the account. This girl is named Coco Nyan. She's literally like British or something. I, I was as shocked as you are right now. I was literally looking at these pictures. I was like. And this girl literally has a YouTube channel. I'm just blown away, right? So there was this one girl. So supposedly, Madison was in New York from Paris. Like, she had left Paris right now. And one of her clients, one of her ex-clients now, um, Jada, she lived, she lived in New York too. So they were going to meet and go to an event together, right? But then... As Jada's like getting ready, she starts getting all of these DMs and all this information. So like we're all freaking out because we're like, no, don't go meet her because like we don't even know who it is. And so she's like, so then Jada was like, okay, well, I'll face on her and if it's like her, then I'll go. But if it's not her, then I'm not going. I'm not leaving my house or whatever. So we're like, oh yeah, great idea. She never FaceTimes her, okay? So while she's not FaceTiming her, we're, like, doing, like, heavy investigating. And we definitely verified that it was a real business license. So this is the part where it gets, like, really suspicious. In order to get a business license, you have to, like, be a real person. You know, you have to give them your social security number at some point. So what we basically came up with that she is a real person, like, Madison Sloan is a real person. But nobody knows what she looks like because she's catfishing and, like, you know. And y'all. To put the icing on the... If the icing wasn't already on the cake, this puts it on the cake. This girl says that she sends her a video of her talking. I'm going to 
put the video here. Woke up. I thought a video would be better for this shy, but um, but we're just hoping that she want to work with me now. That video was pre-recorded off of Coco's YouTube channel, off of a vlog, and Madison voiced it over. I literally like I I've. I've seen it all. She knew not to send that one to me because I would have just been like, girl, are you tripping? Also, something that we figured out in the group chat is that we all got the same package, which was, let me put it on here again, the Strictly Social Media Package, which was supposed to be $200, but get this, she charged us all a different amount. One girl paid $150, one girl paid $378. One girl paid like two fifty. In my head, I was like, "That probably explains why on this package list there's no prices." To keep going, one girl in the group chat finds this account, which is supposedly Madison's personal page. Okay, now keep this in mind. Before this, she had told all of us on some occasion that she didn't want to share her personal page. I remember her always, like, referring to her personal page. You know, obviously, Madison created this personal page to, like, so that it can be valid that she has a personal page. You know, supposedly, she was an AKA. Now, there's girls in this group chat who have parents in the AKA sorority, and they had it verified, and she definitely was in the sorority. So that's also how we know she's a real person. It's still Thursday, by the way, but at this point, like, we're just waiting. We're just all waiting on her, on um, Madison, to FaceTime Jada to see if, like, she's real or not. Just a heads up, I'm not gonna let y'all wait for this one. Jada never left the house, so if that says anything. Make this story a little bit more interesting if it wasn't already interesting enough. Um, one of the girls in the group chat got a call from the JW Hotel in San Francisco. That was the Marriott Hotel that we were supposed to be staying at. November 1st to the 3rd. But if this is fake, why are you getting a call from the hotel? What they said to her was that they needed her to confirm that she got RSVP. They sent her a confirmation email and everything, but she's not going. Don't worry, guys, she's not going because this could be, like, a whole nother level of, like, sex trafficking. She's the only one that got a phone call. Like, if we all RSVP, why didn't we all get a phone call? You know, that's kind of weird. I'm not in focus. Then, like, she, like, reverse searched the number and it was an actual, like, it was the actual Marriott number, which was so crazy. After that, we all, like, schemed to text and email her asking the question of, we get our confirmation emails and like flight tickets and all this stuff for this trip trying to see what she would say and she basically like to all of us she said you have to RSVP first and like all this stuff so we like all RSVP'd and then we didn't we never got like a confirmation email or anything y'all so get this like later that day so mind you at this point it's like six o'clock in the day so she posts a picture on her Instagram I'll put her picture right here right she posts that picture, right? Where she was supposed to be meeting Jada. But that's not the craziest part. Look here. Let me move over a little bit. That same picture was posted on June 26th by Coco. Isn't that something? Like, like she really just screenshotted it, bro. Like, oh, this is where it gets spicy, okay? So around 7 o'clock, still on Thursday, because Thursday was the big day where, like, all of... All of the shit hit the fan. From the group chat, I'm gonna screenshot it. She goes, y'all, I think she just blocked me. Then we all start checking, and she blocked us all, you guys. She literally blocked us all. And that's when we all were like, like, we were just like... And we knew that it was a blocking because we all went on our spam accounts, or our fences, or whatever, and we checked, and the account was still up. At this point, we all literally are on the phone with our banks, and we're calling, we're, like, disputing the charge. That's good if you guys just wanted to know. Yes, we all got our money back. Yes, oh yes, the story goes on, honey. Like, you thought that was the end of it. There's two girls in the group chat that didn't sign with her yet. Like, didn't sign a contract, didn't pay anything, okay? So, mind you, we're all blocked, but she emails them saying, you can still sign today if you want. Literally at 7 o'clock, she sends this email saying, our Instagram is down right now, and I'm working to get it back up. So, if Instagram is down, why is it that we're all blocked, but our other accounts are blocked? Isn't that wild? Hmm. <laughs> Y'all, to just make this, like, so much more juicy, okay? She sends us all this email that I'll put on the screen 
basically trying to call us out saying that we're talking bad about her company and all this other stuff i'll let you guys read we all literally sent it at the same time tomorrow i was minding my own business i was over it i'm gonna expose another account that you guys should watch out for because these this account right here put it on the screen they're the Aka Waka Baka. I don't know. Watch out for them, and I'm going to tell y'all why. One girl asked this, these sisters about the MTS PR firm, okay? And they told her that it was legit. I do. This was after the other girls in the group chat that didn't sign told them to watch out because it was fake. So that's how we figure. And then, get this. So basically what happened was my memory card overfilled. My two other memory cards aren't working for some reason. So as I was saying, but then block the girl that informed them that it was a scam. Like, what? Like, how are you blocking somebody that's telling you that something that you put your money in is a scam? And then continuing to go tell somebody else to go join. If you thought this couldn't get any more crazy. We all went to go check our bank statements from the transaction, and why does it all say our money was sent to a place called the Lachey Collection from Atlanta, Georgia? They found out that the Lachey Collection is a hair company stationed in Washington. Now, mind y'all, Madison is from Washington. Y'all, the MTS PR firm page follows the Lachey collection now I have like this last thing I want to tell y'all which is really not that juicy now when we text her business phone number some dude not we don't know if it's a boy or a girl but some person is saying that they got this number from a text app so I hope you guys beware of the company so, yeah that's that, that was that was it for this video you thought this video was over? I did too. It's the day that you're watching this. I just got home from a work meeting that I had to go on. I'm so mad I had this work meeting because I literally wanted this video to go up at like 11 or 10 o'clock. But I just got home from the meeting and I couldn't finish editing. Like, I guess everything happens for a reason. While I was at the meeting in the group chat, they were figuring out that she like changed the username and now she's like completely somebody different. So now this is the account. This is what it looks like. It's like CPR firm or something like that. So just watch out. She's literally not even using the Madison Sloan name anymore. So I'm really confused. Yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy my horror story. If you did enjoy this, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe. Please help me hit 1K before the end of the year. Follow all my social medias. I promise you I'm real. Like I have a real Instagram. So you should go follow me. Period. So yeah, that is all. And I'll catch y'all later.